Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to fix all of these issues inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. My good friend Susie Harrison sent me this photo. Check her work out. She is at Photography by Susie. Now, typically, most of my videos are focused on one particular skill, but in this video, we are going to look at a workflow for an image like this that we obviously need to clean up. Let's begin by pressing Command or Control J in order to duplicate the background layer. That's always the first thing I do because I don't like to work on the background layer because we don't destroy pixels in this house. I'm going to start by removing the dad from the left hand side of the photograph. Press M on your keyboard in order to select the marquee tool. I'm going to place my cursor outside of the canvas and click and drag to make a selection about like that. Then I am going to access the free transform tool by pressing command or control T on the keyboard. Next, I'm placing my cursor on the left hand side and clicking and dragging to the left in order to just shift him out of the frame. Now actually what's happening here is Photoshop is using content aware scale in order to do this. Press enter or return to commit this change and then command or control D to deselect. Now let's work on the right hand side of the photograph. Again, pressing M on the keyboard. And this time let's make a selection about to there. Press Command or Control T in order to access the free transform tool. Click and drag to the right. I'm not going to be able to eliminate all of this. That's okay. I'm just going to eliminate as much as I can to make it easier. Enter or return to commit. Command or Control D to deselect. Now in order to remove what's left of this light stand, we're going to use the clone stamp tool. Press S on the keyboard in order to access that tool. I'm going to make this brush bigger with my right bracket key. Now I also want to make sure I have a very soft edge brush and I can make sure by holding down shift and pressing my left bracket key and also the tool options bar shows me that this is a very soft edge brush. I also am going to reduce this opacity. So rather than have the opacity at 100% and try to just clone right over that, I'm going to try to blend this in. So let's try at around 54%. Then I need to select a source. Hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click in order to select a source. And then just start brushing over that area a couple of times. Should do the trick and it will remove it quite nicely. Now for this bottom area, I want to use a different tool. I think I would probably want to use either the patch tool or one of the healing brushes. So let's go ahead and press J on the keyboard and see what we've got. We have the patch tool selected, but you know, I always like to start with the spot healing brush just to see how well it will do. Let's make this a little bit bigger with the right bracket key. And then all you need to do is click and drag over the wire. And let's see what happens here. Oh, I made a little bit of a mistake there. Let Photoshop, okay, it did a pretty good job. But then I can press Shift J in order to get back to my patch tool. Click and drag around this area. Place my cursor inside and then over to a source I would like. Let Photoshop render that. Command or Control D to deselect. That actually looks really good. Why don't we stick with the patch tool here and click and drag in order to select this part of the stand. When you close that selection, you can place your cursor inside and click and drag to a new area for Photoshop to define a source. Command or Control D to deselect. That looks pretty good. I see some luminosity issues there, some shadows I don't like. But overall, so far, pretty quickly, we were able to remove everything really quite well. Now the only few things that are remaining are, uh, I've noticed some footprints at the bottom here. There are a couple of different ways to get rid of those footprints. As an aside, there's about a hundred ways to do any one given task in Photoshop. I just like to share the one that I feel works the most efficiently. I'm going to press B on my keyboard in order to access my brush tool. And then I'm going to change the opacity and I'm going to make sure that it's fairly low, maybe around 30%. Hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click an area nearby in order to select that color. And then with that low opacity brush, what you can do is just start to brush over this area and you'll see that it is eliminating 
the dirt and the footprints. Now periodically, because the light changes across this image, you'll want to hold down Alt or Option and click to kind of grab a new area of color. And you can just brush over this. And you keep doing it until you feel like it's blended in properly. Command or Control minus to zoom back out. And let's take a look at that before and after. Oh, one last item that I missed. Oh, I see an area up here in the right. I'm holding down Alt or Option and clicking and just brushing that. Is I don't like his hand sticking out behind him. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that? Let's zoom in with a Command or Control Plus. I think what I'll do is grab the Magnetic Lasso Tool. That's L on your keyboard, but you want to make sure that you have the Magnetic Lasso Tool. And I am going to click and then just drag my mouse along this area and let Photoshop find that edge. I'm going to come down to here and click to drop a point. Now, all I need to do is just kind of grab a large area like this and double click to close that. I really just needed to protect the integrity of the edge. That's why I did that. S in order to grab your clone stamp tool. Let's make that smaller, the left bracket key. And then Alt or Option click to define a source. I have that opacity pretty low. That's on purpose so I can build up this adjustment. That way it doesn't look too harsh. And once I have that done, I'm going to press Command or Control minus to zoom out. And then Command or Control D to deselect. And let's take a look at the overall before and after. And I think that looks fantastic. Actually, we were able to do that pretty quickly, but you have to know several Photoshop skills in order to make that happen. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step course with easy, clear instructions to learn Photoshop, well, yes, I do have a course on the Flourish Academy called Photoshop for Photographers. I'll post the link below. I'll see you in the next video.